بلائك وفرقت بيني وبين أحبائك وأوليائك فهبني يا إلهي وسيدي ومولاي وربي صبرت على عذابك فكيف أصبر على فراقك وهبني صبرت على حر نارك فكيف أصبر عن النظر إلى كرامتك أم كيف أسكن في النار أم كيف أسكن في النار ورجائي عفو لا ضجنا إليك بين أهل ضجيج الآمنين ولا أصرخنا إليك صراخ المستصرخين ولا أبكينا عليك بكاء الفاقدين ولا أنادي أنك إذا كنت يا ولي المؤمنين يا غاية آمال العارفين يا قياس المستغيثين يا غياث المستغيثين يا غياث المستغيثين يا حبيب قلوب الصادقين ويا إله العالمين أفتهات سبحانك يا إلهي وبحمدك تسمع فيها صوت عبد مسلم سجن فيها بمخالفته وذاق طعم عذابها بمعصيته وحبس بين أطباقها بجرمه وجريرته وهو يضج إليك وجيجا مؤمنا لرحمتك ويناديك بلسان أهل توحيدك ويتوسل إليك بربوبيتك يا مولاي فكيف يبقى في العذاب وهو يرجو ما سلف من حلمك أم كيف تحلم النار وهو يأمل فضلك ورحمتك أم كيف يحرقه لهيبها وأنت تسمع صوتا وترى مكانه أم كيف يشتمل عليه زفيرها وأنت تعلم ضعفه أم كيف يتقلقل بين أطباقها وأنت تعلم صدقه أم كيف تزجر زبانيتها وهو يناديك يا ربا أم كيف يرجو فضلك في عتقه منها فتتركه فيها أيهات ما لا يكرب ونتوبك ولا المعروف من فضلك ولا مسلم لما عاملت به الموحدين من ذرك وإحسانك فباليقين أقطع لولا ما حكمت به من تعذيب جاحديك وقضيت به من إخلال معانديك لجعلت النار كلها بردا وسلاما وما كان لأحد فيها مقرا ولا مقاما لكنك تقدست أسماؤك أقسمت أن تملاها من الكافرين من الجنة والناس أجمعين وأن تخلد فيها المعاندين وأنت جل ثناؤك قلت مبتدئا وتطولت بالإنعام متكرما أفمن كان مؤمنا كمن كان فاسقا لا يستوون إلهي وسيدي فأسألك بالقدرة التي قدرتها وبالقضية التي حكمتها وحكمتها وغلبت من عليه أجريتها أن تهب لي في هذه الليلة وفي هذه الساعة كل جهد أجرمته وكل
كل ذنب أذنبته وكل قبيح أسررته وكل جهل عملته كتمته أو أعلنته أخفيته أو أظهرته وكل سيئة أمرت بإثباتها الكرام الكافرين الذين وكلتهم بحفظ ما يكون مني وجعلتهم شهودا علي مع جوارحي وكنت أنت الرقيب علي من ورائهم والشاهد لما خفي عنهم وبرحمتك أخفيت وبفضلك سترت وأن توفر حظي من كل خير تنزله أو أحسان تفضله أو بر تنشره أو رزق تبسطه أو ذنب تغفره أو خطأ تستره يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا ربي يا ربي يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا إلهي وسيدي ومولاي ومالك رزقي يا من يده ناصيتي يا علي من بضري ومسكنتي يا خبيرا بفقري وفاقتي يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا ربي يا ربي يا رب أسألك بحقك وقدسك وعظم صفاتك وأسمائك أن تجعل أوقاتي من الليل والنهار بذكرك معمورا وبخدمتك موصولا وأعمالي عندك مقبولة حتى تكون أعمالي وأورادي كلها وردا واحدا وحالي في خدمتك سرمدا يا سيدي يا من عليه معولي يا من إليه شتوت أحوالي يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا ربي يا ربي يا رب يا ربي يا ربي يا رب قو على خدمتك جوارحي واشدد على العزيمة جوانحي وأذني الجدة في خشيتك والدوام في الاتصال بخدمتك حتى أسرح إليك في ميادين السابقين وأسرع إليك في البارزين وأشتاق إلى قربك ومن أرادني بسوء فأرد ومن كادني فكر اللهم ومن أراد المسلمين بسوء فأرد ومن كادهم فكر فاجعلني من أحسن عبيدك نصيبا عندك وأقربهم منزلة منك وأخصهم زلفة لديك فإنه لا ينال ذلك إلا بفضلك فجدني بجودك واعطف علي بمجدك واحفظني برحمتك واجعل لساني بذكرك رمجا وقلبي بحبك مكيما ومد علي بحسن إجابتك وأقلني عثرتي واغفر زلتي فإنك قضيت على عبادك بعبادتك وأمرتهم بدعائك وغمدت لهم الإجابة فإليك يا ربي نصرت وجهي وإليك يا ربي مددت يدي فبعزتك استجبني دعائي وبلغني منات 
ولا تقطع من فضلك يا رجائي واكفني شر الجن والانس من اعدائي يا سريع الرضا يا سريع الرضا يا سريع السلام عليك يا وائف آدم صفوة الله السلام عليك يا وائف نوح النبي الله السلام عليك يا وائف إبراهيم خليل الله السلام عليك يا وائف موسى كريم الله السلام عليك يا وائف عيسى روح الله السلام عليك يا وائف محمد حبيب الله السلام عليك يا وائف أمير المؤمنين علي ولي الله السلام عليك يا ابن محمد المصطفى السلام عليك يا ابن علي المرتضى السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة الزهراء السلام عليك يا ابن خديجة الكبرى السلام عليك يا فأر الله وابن فاره والوتر الموصول أشهد أنك قد أقمت الصلاة وآتيت الزكاة وأمرت بالمعروف ونهيت عن المنكر وأطعت الله ورسوله حتى أتاك اليقين فلعن الله أمة قتلت ولعن الله أمة ظلمت ولعن الله أمة سمعت بذلك فرضيت به يا مولاي يا أبا عبد الله أشهد أنك كنت نورا في الأصناف الشامخة والأرحام المطهرة لم تنجسك الجاهلية بأنجاسها ولم تلمسك من مدفر الماء بغيابها وأشهد أنك من دعائم الدين وأركان المؤمنين وأشهد أنك الإمام البر التقي الرضي الزكي الهادي المهدي وأشهد أن الأئمة من ولدك كلمة التقوى وأعلام الهدى والعروة الوثقى والحجة على أهل الدنيا وأشهد الله وملائكته وأنبياءه ورسله إني بكم مؤمن وبإيابكم موقن بشرائع ديني وخواتيم عملي وقلبي لقلبكم سام وأمري لأمركم متبع صلوات الله عليكم وعلى أرواحكم وعلى أجسادكم وعلى أجسامكم وعلى شاهدكم وعلى غائبكم وعلى ظاهركم وعلى باطنكم السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر عهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى 
أصحاب الحسين الذين بذلوا مهجهم دون الحسين السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى أخيك أبي الفضل العباس وعلى أختك الحوراء زينب اللهم وصلي على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين زين العابدين ومحمد بن علي الباقر وجعفر بن محمد الصادق وموسى بن جعفر الكاظم وعلي بن موسى الرضا ومحمد بن علي الجواد وعلي بن محمد الهادي والحسن بن علي العسكري والخلف الهادي المهدي حججك على عبادك وأمنائك في بلادك صلاة كبيرة دائمة تامة اللهم هؤلاء أئمتي بهم ما تولى ومن أعدائهم أتضرع اللهم ارزقني في الدنيا زيارتهم وفي الآخرة شفاعتهم اللهم وصل على ولي أمرك القائم المؤمن والعدل المنتظر وحفظهم بملائكتك المقربين وأيده بروح القدس يا رب العالمين اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه ارضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على خير خلقك محمد واله الطاهرين. Still have it up on the Which one do you want to? 
I'm going to leave this one next to you as a backup. Just in case. Yes. Since I didn't change the board yet, it's not happening. Okay. Allow me one for Imam Sahibi Asr and Zaman Salawat. Allah, 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 Salatu was salam, Mutahiyat and Ikram, Marashat in the Yahim Salim. Sayyidana, Bobolana, Habiba Kudujana, Abil Kasim and Muhammad. Law, Masali, Allah, Muhammad, Wali Muhammad. Father Law Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Fiki Tabi and Madin, Bismillah, the Zaman and Madin. Alhamdulillah, and the Dee Hadana, the Hada. Makuna and Nahtari Adolan, and Hanullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm thrilled, I don't know about any one of you. It's one of the most prominent occasions that we have. We celebrate our you know, family birthday. We celebrate our children's birthday, mother's father's day, and so forth and so on. The most important celebration in this regard is the birth of Imam Asr wa Zaman. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ala And today, inshallah, can you go to the slide one from slide two, please? I'm going to tell you a story before he fixes the screen. This is recorded in the history. In the Second World War, Germany and okay, that's fine. Thank you. Germany wanted fuel. Hitler was short of fuel. He didn't have enough in Germany. So he wanted to go towards Iraq. Iraq had a lot of oil fields. And he wanted to occupy them and use for his army. In the Iraqi government, there was British who were helping Iraqi government. They were there, the British. There was a Major Burns, this is a story recorded in the history. Major Burns, a British national, he says, I was in charge of a camp in Iraq. And I heard the news that now Hitler is going to send his army, the soldiers, to capture the oil fields in Iraq. And all I had in the camp, women and children, because men were busy trying to defend the country. Women and children mostly. British major named Burns. So what happened then? He says, I was confused what to do. We had to move somewhere. Had, so he thought maybe they can cross the desert and go towards Syria. But crossing the desert is not easy. You have to know the direction. There's no compass. There's no Google Maps. Nothing. And he had children and women to worry about. And he, wanted, he was carrying men. So at that point, he said, I had heard, and I said to this, I said, oh, there is an imam, Sahabi Asr wa Zaman, and so he down with him. He said, anybody in Iraq who needed help, they call on you and you help them. I've seen that. People in Iraq, when they get in deep trouble, they go to Imam Asr wa Zaman. He says, I don't know him, but I appeal to you. I appeal to you for the sake of these women and children. Please show us the direction. And as soon as he finished, there was a rider coming from the desert, a rider. As soon as we finished, the rider comes up to the major and says, are you people lost? He said, no, we want to go to Syria. He says, come, I'll show you the way to you. He says, I'll take you through the desert. That's how the Imam helps us. In the, our desperate hours, good hours, bad hours, funny hours, happy hours, but we need to remain connected. And this is the night to get connected. Now, the reason for that is that 
Thousands of people who celebrate this. And those who dearly loved Ahlul Bayt, Ahlul Salam, they'll always be loyal. They'll always be loyal. There'll always be a little trickle. Something will stir their heart. So it's a very summarized because to, to go through his life will take time. I mean, I have been at it. There's so many books written by noble scholars about Imam's life. A lot of books have been written, different aspects of his life. So today, inshallah, we'll see a very short, first of all, the tree he comes from. Quran refers, Surah Ibrahim, Surah number 14, Ayah 24, that they are Muhammad and Ali Bahad Kashan, Sadrat al Tayyibah. It is the most prominent sort of compliment to the Ahl al-Bayt. And, and you just read Quran, that's all there is. You know, Quran doesn't need us, we need Quran, I need Quran. Okay, so this is the blessed tree that Quran refers to. And blessed tree can be, you know, uh, you, talk, you put a broom tree, that's okay. You eat and you're gone. But human race continues. Human race has to continue to the end. It doesn't matter where you are. It will continue and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the only one and only, he, he is the Khalq Kulli Shay. I'm the only one who created everything in the universe. I'll see to it where his end is going to come. When he will be sending his last argument, the Hujjah, alayhi salam. Okay, so this really tells you that they are never away from us. We are away from them. Like if you right now, you go outside, where is the sun? The sun is there on the other side of the earth. The sun is there, shining on the other half of the earth. It is there, that's our Iman. You have to believe in Imam Ajjal al-Fajr al So now, I have put together some aspects of his life. Very, very simple. What does Al Mahdi mean? The rightly guided one. Allah chose this title for him. Allah chose this title for him to awaken us all up. That there is a there is going to be a Hadi in Ghaib. And I'll show you a slide what we believe is in Ghaib. Inshallah. Okay. The it is a, a central part, and Rasul said this, you'll see a slide. Those who don't believe in Imam al-Asr wa-Zaman, it's an important element of faith. Those who don't believe it, they are weakening their faith. Because there is a hadith in Siyasetta, Rasul said, the one who doesn't know the Imam of his time, of his time, he dies death of a ignorance. Okay, so we continue. <laughs> he was not a prophet. He was not a messenger. He was a rightly guided Khalifa of the Muslims. And Allah chooses. We don't have a choice. When Allah chooses, we have to, su the submission is what? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Yes. Beyond that also, it's a continuous chain. When you believe, that's the principal faith. With that, there are many branches. Saum, Salat, Hajj, Zakat, Tums, Jihad, and on and on and on. And above all, knowledge. So, he will lead the Muslim to victory. This is my faith, and inshallah, I pray for all of us here. Imam Sadiq asked the reason for Qayyim being named and you know what? I have seen in the history the answers given by the Imam are the correct answers. A lot of good scholars, intelligent, well learned, but they cannot be elevated. They do not have the knowledge, understanding of the elevator. They are deep, very deep. Elevator very deep. And that's 
that's why Dhenu Moon and Rasa Moon are together. They are there inside the Dhenu. The Ram's fair. Because he is guided on every hidden issue. There is nothing hidden from him. Nothing. The smallest, the biggest, up or down, in, inside the earth, above the earth, nothing is hidden. Because that's the knowledge Allah has given. He is Sahib in Asr wa Zaman. The title is very important to understand. You have, Imam has been termed by the Alibay as, this is, pay attention, access of age, Mahwar al Asr. He is the Mahwar around which everything rotates, like Kaaba. No matter where you are, you have to face Kaaba. Kaaba is the Mahwar for our faith. Kaaba is the Mahwar for our Ibadah, Salat. We are facing towards Kaaba when we pray. Same thing for salvation, for guidance, he is the Mahwar. And this is Imam Sadiq alayhi salam saying, Salat al the force behind every activity is there any activity in the universe, not on the earth, that Allah does not have control? No, no, the smallest, the biggest, doesn't matter. He is aware, he knows, and he is watching, guiding. Continue with one of the hadiths. Ibn Abbas, he was a very reliable companion of Rasul and Imam Ali alayhi salam. Both, Ibn Abbas. And he, when I was raised for the Miraj, this is Rasul telling Ibn Abbas. Miraj is the highest peak any creation can reach, only with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To understand Miraj will take days and months and on and on. What did happen that night? It is, it is a phenomenon beyond my capacity to understand. To the seventh heaven. Now, we can think of, we only look at the Zenith and Hayat. This is only the lowest heaven. There are seven layers of heaven. We can go on going. And from there to the lot, lot tree, and from the low tree to the layers of light. <laughs> and this is the family. He is the root. He is the head of Ahlul Bayt. Allah honored him as a guest. Come to me. He spoke to Musa on the earth. He called Khalil here on the earth. The one and only he took all the way, all the way, all the way to Arsh. He was the root of The exalted called me, Ya Muhammad. Through you, and this is recorded, this is all from the history. Through Ali. And through the Imams from your progeny, I confer mercy upon my servant. There's a source. The source of life for us is sun and moon. The source of spiritual life is our deen. We are, we are alive physically, yes, I breathe, I eat, but spiritual life is very, very important. Your faith, your action, your dedication. And through the Qayyam from yours, I will develop my earth. You know, it has been almost 14 centuries since Hijra, and yet every year, what event goes around the globe is Karbala. You go, Karbala. People are amazed with Karbala. We can go on and on and on forever until the final Hujjah comes. I develop my earth with what? My tasbih. I, I don't know these words in the sense of true definition, true definition, not literal meaning. My tafadjus. As I said, each one of these is like an opening, a root for me. My tahrir, my taqdeer, and my tamdeer. These are exact words used 
from the history by the scholars. None of the, yes, I, I, I do, I don't have the capacity or any recording, but this is all exact words used in the authentic ahadith. Through him, I will make the words of those who disbelieve in me know in my word heart. Always remember that. Our salvation is submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the story of all the Anbiya Muslims. Through him, I will divide my land and my servants with knowledge. Knowledge is the key to manifest that we are created and given the sujja of an aql to learn and then submit. If I am praying and I do not seek knowledge, my prayer will be accepted, however, for it to rise above the ground. I need to have ilm, with ilm comes marifa. And when somebody prays with ilm and marifa, even two rakat can be very, very, very valuable. He was born, just very quickly I'm going through, he was born on 15th of Shaban, 255 al Hijra in And there are four phases, historians have put them in four phases. Childbirth, Rebus uh, Asubara, Rebus Asubara, and his Ibn It's an amazing story how Allah is showing us, every human being, that take my deen seriously. You will never win without my deen. If you go to his deen, then with that deen, you need knowledge. Knowledge is the key essence. No other religion that I know of encourages Muslims to gain knowledge, to gain knowledge, to gain knowledge, to gain knowledge. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, Rabbi Zidni Ilma, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. No other religion that I know of that emphasizes knowledge as the Islam does. Childbirth. Society secretly nurtured by his father up to the period of five years. And after that, when he died, his father died in 260. He became the Imam, but the Abbasid Khalifa of the time were enemies. They wanted to kill him. They didn't want, they knew that Rivaya is coming from Surah that the clan will be there. And the progeny of Ali and Fatah Those two the elephants in Europe. So now, the birth of Imam we know, minor conceit. These are part of our Iman. We do, I, I do that in the course of my, my, my professional life, I have to memorize many things. I have to learn many things. I have to dedicate 40 hours a week. Plus more, plus more, plus more, plus more. But this is the real stuff. I realized whatever that course was, it was good to go through the dunya, whatever I accomplished, doesn't mean anything until I learn these facts of my faith. The minor conceit started from year 260 Al Hijra to 329, 69 years, approximately 70 years. In these 70 years, he was communicating with four Khalifa. He had four deputies, and these deputies knew where the Imam was, nobody else knew. So they will communicate. Any follower had a question, inquiry, that to go to the Khalifa, Khalifa knew where the Imam will be, he will give them the answer. Once the fourth Khalifa died in 329 al Hijra, Imam said, now I'm going into a major occultation. Major occultation began 329 and will continue. That he appears, it will continue on the appearance, the whole. We have to have faith in all of this. This is part of our Iman. We didn't make this. This was done by our noble scholars from authentic connection, chain, chain of rabbis, chain of people who recorded in the history. 
Then you have, according to Quran, the stories of the Prophet, there are many creations of Allah, some of whom have lived a long time. Sometimes people ask, and it happened to me, I was talking to a very noble man, I said, Imam, he said, yes, I, mean, it, I don't know. I mean, it's been 1,700 years for him to be alive. How can that be possible? Weird, right. Uh, is it possible for Allah, when he said, Kul be akun, a universe comes into existence? Yeah, of course. The answer is every form will have a guide. Every every nation. Okay, so what are the things that we have to have? Well, I have to have faith in life. What is that life? What is that? I have to ask these questions. These are part of my faith. What are the things that are? There are nine that I have found. Good money, that's my life. I mean, they go on living. They are the connection between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the creation. They can, I mean, there, there, are, there are millions, of, and, and this is one of the books that I was reading, that the largest creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are angels. The largest. Not human beings. Angels are the largest creation of Allah, according to one scholar. Then you have shaitan and jinn. After, you know, shaitan, I don't know, get away from me, he's with everybody. Every, every child born, there's shaitan there as a child. So we believe that shaitan is there in the time. Adam and Islam, according to Qasat al Anbiya, he lived for 1,000 years. According to Qasat al Anbiya. Nuh alayhi salam, 2,500 years. My God, 2,500. I'm already ready to go. 80 years. He preached in 80 years, I think he had only 10 or something, very few, very small number. But Nu has been mentioned, Salam Allah Nu fil Alameen. Allah said, Salam in, in the universe on my servant Nu. Isa alayhi salam. That's 2000 plus years. It's our faith in the light. I said that, Allah said, I, I didn't know. Ashab al Kahf for 390 years. We have to have faith. Yuminuna bil ghayb. Sayyidina Khidr alayhi salam. Ilyas was raised. Now, Sayyidina Khidr, he raised Ilyas alayhi salam. Now, this is an example that we as Muslims must have faith in that he can do anything. You know, Ghaib is not my topic tonight, but I could go inshallah in the future. Salat ala Muhammad ala Muhammad. Allah, I'm close to the end one. Now, this is the heaven. Through him, I will manifest treasures and riches with my lips. There's an interesting story. And again, I try to see the authenticity, the author. If the author is authentic, his research is authentic, I can go to him whatever research I do. You are describing that on, on one, somebody is relating the story that he went for Hajj. When you went for Hajj, of course you're wearing Ahram and at Arafat. He was there, we were mixing up with each other. Suddenly I saw a young man, very bright, very sharp, very good looking, wearing light colored Ahram, light colored Ahram. There was something about him that attracted my attention. And I kept looking at him, admiring him. Suddenly I noticed there is a man standing near me. He was poor, a beggar, a fakir. He said, can you give me something? I need something to eat. And the man didn't have anything at that time to give. He said, sorry, I don't have anything to give you now. So he was despondent, fakir, walks away, slowly, slowly, slowly. I was keeping an eye, suddenly he goes to that young man. And I'm watching. They have a conversation. He asks, he responds. That young man picks something from the ground, from the earth, which is nothing but rocks and little, little pebbles. Picks it up, puts it in the hand of the needy person. Suddenly, I noticed that, that this needy person is so shocked to look what is in his hand. He starts to praise him. And suddenly, my interest grew. What is this that he gave? 
So I waited. And I went towards that, and I called that man. I said, what did that young man do to you? He opened his, they were diamonds. See, mom can take the stones and make them into diamonds. What a mean man. At that point, I knew that it is related that he comes to the mosque. I looked for him, he was gone. Salat ala Muhammad Ali. I will expose the secrets and the hidden to him with my resolve. We are in absolute control of him. Nobody can say that I am outside the sphere of his control. We're not. I will help him through my angels to aid him in the enforcement of my order and uncovering of my religion. Enforcement of my order, Sharia. You have to learn Sharia. We call it out as a word. That is my friend, rightfully, and Imam Mehdi alayhi salam of my service to me. Another hadith. Abu Sayyid al Khudri has narrated a long tradition which will summarize Rasulullah, and this is very important. Please take this and memorize it. Set to his beloved. He said, O oh my dear daughter, we the Ahl Bayt have been given seven things that no one has been given before us in our, in our place. Seven things. These are the jewels of the Ahl Bayt. We are celebrating very important evening. We are celebrating the, the blessed tree. Number one, our, our prophet is the best of all the prophets. He is Khatam al Nabiyyin. He is the jewel. He is the seal of all the prophets. Quran confirms that. Then, our successor is the best of successor. He is Ali bin Abi Talib. Number three, our martyr is the best of the martyr, Hamza. Among the four people I was reading a history book, the message by Ayatollah Jafar Subhani. He said there were four people, one of them in the early days of Islam, there were four people, one of them was Hamza. Anyway, <clears throat> Uncle Hamza. Hamza has a very high status. Very, very high status. Then from us, the one who has swept crimson wings by Vicky, crimson, colorful wings, Jafar al-Hazal. He was a youth. I did some research, and in the initial <coughs> days of Islam, Rasul used a lot of young people. And Jafar was one of them. Ali was the other one. They were very young. They were very young, seven people. I don't know much. As soon as I go and see the scholar, that's an 800 page book he's written. And I get absorbed. He goes step by step by step by step by step, educating me. <laughs> then you have number five from us is two heirs of the Ummah. Of course, you know them. Then, and from us is Allah just loved this time. Just loved this time. They are the Bulli tree. And I think this might be the last one. What do we do? I asked this question. So, okay, all this information, is it just information, reading a novel or a book? Or I make this my life, maybe I'll get some salvation. Oh yes, I pray, you know, I, 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 I fast, I went for Hajj, yes, they're good. But what will save me will be Allah's mercy through these. Allah's mercy, through all. So, what should we do? <coughs> Three levels, that is 
position, I must recognize, accept it. Recognize it is one thing. I, I recognize that man is a good man, and Sheikh is a good man, but I don't benefit from him. What good is it? Sheikh is not a good man. There are doctors here. They are you people. But I'm living in my own world. You have thinking and acting with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So remember, recognition. When you meet somebody, you introduce, I'm so and so, you're so and so, and then depending on the energy flow, you get to know them better or, not, or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. So recognition. This is mad. Recognition. The Holy Prophet Salam said. He who dies without recognizing the Imam of the age is like one who dies willingly. May Allah save us all from this. May Allah save us all this. There's still hope for me. I don't know about any one of you. That recognizing him for a moment before my last breath can give me salvation. But the greater the salvation, I have to learn about his life. His purpose. Why was he sent? Why is he in Khaybar? What does it mean to my faith? What will he do in Akira? I have to ask these questions. Acceptance, that number two point, Imam Bakr alayhi salam said, one who dies without accepting the, accepting the Imam, one is recognizing and then you have to accept. And this is different from psychological problems. That I don't have, I have to go to a doctor, but I recognize him as MD, but I don't have any faith in him. Sorry, I don't need him. You know, like it's, it's it, it, we live in this doubt, this is there constantly. He, the believer, must wait for him and must act with good behavior and model. That's an to, to, to follow the Imam, believe in the Imam, <coughs> you have to learn Sunnah and Nabi, Akhlaq and Nabi, Kirdan and Nabi. If he dies before reappearance of the time of his salam, then he will be rewarded by like one who has followed him. Time is today, right now. And that's why they say, Walas. Walas. Come to, Walas and when? Walas is today, now. I don't know if I live tomorrow. Nobody knows. Then act diligently and wait. That this effort and I'm waiting will give me delight and the help. Okay. Sound. And the last one, wait, thinking and acting with good. Let me, I'm, I keep telling this. Time is now. I don't know, as I said, how many of us say tomorrow? Inshallah, we will, or next year, or year after that. Nobody knows. And the Quran says very clearly where you will die, when you will die, it's Nobody knows that. So, I have to act now. I have to behave now. Okay, so, you know, recognition, acceptance. The third is waiting and acting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our thoughts and actions should be devoted to His service. How can we be of His service? Because He is the highest point that we can refer to in our lives. He will take us to his father and 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 to Hussain and to Hassan and to Ali and to Fatima and Rasulullah. Our desire should be to meet him. How can I meet him? There's a lot of baggage I'm carrying. But there is hope for me. He will. He said, I like, I will like him alone. Don't worry. We in this life sometimes feel that we know enough, we are too smart, we are too this, we are too that. It's always I, 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 I. And our hearts and souls should be filled with love and affection for Him. Love of Him is a love of completely chain of Hazrat Imam that I believe. Love of Him is a love of Ali and Fatima. Love of Him is a love of Muhammad. 
he will surely be with us in our struggles and then as Imam Bakr alayhi salam. Salatu alayhi salam. Oh, oh, salatu alayhi salam. Okay, if I know you're tired and hungry, I'll finish. How is we could benefit from the Imam in Tanzimah? That is a very good question. Imam here, if the sun is not here now, so how can I benefit in the sun time? Whoever submits his own self, own self, and that's what Ibrahim did. Ibrahim, are you with me? Hundred percent. Musa, Isa, Nu. Every Nabi was hundred percent Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We have to follow in their footsteps. Whoever submits his own self to Allah and is a doer of good, yeah, but you have to do good. There are many, many aspects of doing good. And the last thing, his dua. Imam Nabi alayhi salam is a light. Light of guidance. Light of hidayah. The light of guidance is where? Above us. Below us. It rotates all around us. Allahu Akbar. And I don't know what that light is unless I go to Quran and every day. Nur ala nur. Through the hours of the day, I'm missing. I'm missing. Through the hours of the night. And inshallah, lastly, through every month of the year. There is no moment. There is no moment. When I say no moment for anybody, 8 billion people, it doesn't matter. People who die, people are delayed, people are small. It's, it's, the, it's the system Allah has created of Hidayah. And Rabbana Tabbal Minna and Nikanta Sami Rahim. Allah may make sure that they have a better time with that position. That's what they have to put in the position. The Zalla has to be for the Zalla. Allah may make sure that they have to Muhammad Allah and Muhammad Allah. They can send their Allah.